today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Uh, what the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Before we start, it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Jibu Beauty. They have an amazing skincare collection that will make your skin and your soul look amazing. Their personal mission in life is to make your skin glow. From the Super Duo to the Multitasking Tint Moisturizer to even their new Enchanted Bloom collection, everything that they offer is just perfection. So if you want to get your products, make sure to go to the link on the description below and do not forget to use my discount code ANDY15 and you will get between 15 and 20% off. So get your products right now. Jibu Beauty, inspired by dreams, made for reality. Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills. And girl, I survive. Girl, if you watch my videos from yesterday, I thought that was it. I thought that was the end of the tunnel. There was no other side. Bitch, the hangover almost killed me. But no, I'm a strong, independent person and i survive you know but anyways we are here it is monday it is the beginning of the week it is all about chill mondays you know like nobody have time to have four days of work especially when you had a killer hangover on sunday so we are not gonna give mondays the power to take our day with that being said of course we are working that's what we do on mondays but you know what just relax for a little bit um just go to the bathroom, put your earphones, you know, and no one can tell you no to go to the bathroom when you're working. So just do that and just come here and relax with me and let's talk shit about people that we don't know because that's what we know, What that's what we do best, okay? Girl, well, let's talk about this mess because Miss Giselle Bryant mm -hmm, is being accused of being a fool on Karen, uh-huh, and it is not for less, like, if you watch my review of the three first episode of The Real House with Ultimate Girl Strip, I already kind of, like, talk a little bit, like, over there, but now, as it was expected, the Bravoverse, it's infuriated, is that the word? Latino moment, guys, I think my brain's still recovering, but you know what I mean, like, the Bravo Wars is... Bravo Verse is just like very angry at Giselle Bryan. So if you have no idea what I am talking about, I'm going to tell you right now. And I, I want to say the first episode of the, uh, the first and the second, something like that, of Ultimate Girls Trip, Miss Giselle Bryan lose her shit at Alexia Nepola and Marisol Patton for talking in Spanish. Mm -hmm. so like do you have you seen those videos of those people who randomly go to you know latino people at the supermarket or wherever and they're like Ugh, we are in america you're supposed to speak english here you know that's the vibe that she was giving with that the worst part is Alexia and Marisol were not even having full-on conversations. You know, like they, they, you know, just like were, were there talking in like an hour, for like an hour in Spanish. They were just doing like little, like little comments here and there, which is very normal when you are, you know, Latino and or when you, I don't know, are smart enough to speak two languages. You know, usually you start combining them and. It's just the way we communicate, okay? Uh, every single Latino person that I know usually do it, especially, um, you know, when you are Latino, Latino, like, like Latino being born from another country and then, you know, who migrated here to the United States, we talk a lot of Spanglish, you know, and we, we change all the time. And that's the way we communicate. Of course, if someone doesn't speak Spanish, well, we only speak English. But, you know, the, and Alexia and Marisol were not having a conversation with absolutely no one else, just 
between the two of them and it was not even a conversation it was like literally just like a sentence okay and Giselle was all like uh -uh. what we're not gonna do here is talk in Spanish we do not talk Spanish here we don't do this we don't do that blah 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 you know well people were reacting in a very you know very bad you know this is full-on Karen behavior you cannot tell other person to not talk on their first language because that is their first language that's how they communicate second of all now that we see what they were talking about because of course peacock is gonna put uh subtitles right like why are you going to be like why are you so paranoid thinking that other people are talking bad about you is that how like like how bad do you behave that you immediately assume that other people are talking bad about you? It really, honestly, I mean, to me, you know, like, I'm full on Latino, you know? So, like, um, when I saw that episode, I was like, what is going on here? Like, I felt kind of, like, offended by the whole situation because it's like, I, 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 I mean, I, I, it felt so weird. I was like, why do you care that someone who is not having a conversation with you is speaking on another language. Now, on the second episode, it happened again at the table, you know, and again, she doubles down basically saying, okay, I already told you, like, we are not gonna be speaking Spanish here, you know, and all of that, and I was like, okay. And, and then she goes on with a whole stupid story. She's like, oh. The truth is, my kids, the twins, they are they, they, they are learning how to speak Spanish and they speak Spanish in front of me all the time and I never know what they're doing, you know? So it's like super triggering. Bitch, please! You know, first of all, and they do like a, like a flashback where the twins are not speaking any Spanish at all, you know? It's like, it was so weird. So what I'm thinking is, they saw what happened, you know, and someone went and talked to Giselle and were like, girl, you're about to get canceled, so you better fix this situation, otherwise you're going to get canceled. And then Giselle just came with the first random story that came to her mind, you know, about how, why she hates people speaking Spanish. It was so, like, bizarre and weird, and honestly, I do not understand why people get upset with other people speaking in other languages. You know, like, look, I have traveled all around the world, not all around the world, but you know that I travel a lot. So I'm very familiar with people speaking in several languages. I have friends that are Russians. I have friends that are, you know, um, Asians, there are Germans, there are, you know, from Colombia, from absolutely every single part, you know? And when I go out with them and their friends, well, sometimes they speak in their own languages. Do I give a shit? I don't give a shit, you know? That's the way they decided to communicate. Anyways, I do believe that it, it is, I mean, it is a racist thing to do. I'm so sorry, it is what it is, you know? It is a racist thing to do. Um, should I read you this very quickly? It says, Giselle Bryan is being called out by fans for being a Karen after she asked Alexia and Marisol to not speak Spanish around her on The Real House with Ultimate Girls Trip. On season three premiere on the show, which aired on Thursday night, while The Real House of Miami stars were having a conversation, Bryan told them that she has a rule, no Spanish. Yeah, okay, and this is basically what I already told you. The ladies told uh, Brian, uh, Giselle that they speak Spanglish in Miami and don't even realize that when they are doing it. I just don't want to feel left out, Brian replied. Uh, left out of what? Girl, there is a, it was not a conversation between the whole group. It was a conversation between the two of them, okay? You were not even part of that conversation, <sighs> Viewers of the show took to social media to express that they were not happy with Giselle's comments to Marisol or Alexia. Well, I, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, do I believe, do we have like another Mary Cosby situation? 
you know, where they don't really like people from like other cultures. What is going on here? Giselle girl, you have to go and like travel around the world. There is a war outside of the United States. There is another cultures, another languages out there. So I, I think it will be very beneficial for you to kind of like expose yourself to, not, to a different culture. I don't know, just putting that out there. So anyways, that's what is going on. Let me know what you think on the comments below. Do you think that it was a little bit too much, a lot race, racist? Let me know. And if you want to get all the tea related to The Real House with Ultimate Girl Strip or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to subscribe, 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 hit the notification bell, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.